my name is Ashley Rice and welcome to my YouTube channel. So I'm going to do a vegan cuts review today and at the request of Melanie, I am going to do the Forager Project Chipotle Barbecue Chips. And I am so excited about these because I've seen so many posts about them and Melanie said they were amazing and I've heard other amazing things about them so I just know they're going to be super good. However, before we get started, I want to tell you about something that I'm trying out on my channel. So normally what I do for vegan cuts reviews is I review a few different items in one video and it ends up being a really long video, um, which I always feel really bad about. So instead of posting two to three videos that are really long per week, I'm gonna try and do each individual item that I haven't reviewed before in its own video and then I'm trying to post uh, roughly five times a week so that they can be shorter videos so that way you guys don't have to go through 20 minute videos <laughs> just to see what I think about a product. So let me know in the comments below if you like this idea, if you think it'll be a lot nicer, um, or if you really like the old way that I was doing it and kind of combining different products. But other than that, uh, we're gonna start off with trying these puppies out and I'm so excited. Okay, here we go. This is what they look like. Oh, this is so good. Mmm. Yum, 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 yum. They definitely have that barbecue flavor. It's got a bit of a kick to it, but it's pretty mellow. But if you like can't do spice at all, you probably probably be a little bit too much for you like if you think ketchup is too spicy this would be really spicy for you but they're really yummy they're not like overly crunchy which is kind of nice because I don't really like a ton of crunch um oh but they're so tasty and they're definitely like barbecue flavored mm. oh there's a lot of ingredients in this some of the vegetables that are compressed in it or some of the vegetables that are pressed in it our cucumber, celery, kale, spinach, romaine, collards, fennel, parsley, and basil. Um, but then everything else that I'm reading, I know exactly what it is, but there are, is quite a bit of in ingredients just to give it its flavor and to give it some more nutrients. Um, made in a factory that also processes tree nut and milk. One serving size is one bag. Calories are 220, total carbs are 26 car or 26 grams, which is 9% of your daily intake. Uh, proteins, three grams, vitamin A, 15%, calcium, 4%, vitamin C, 6%, iron, 8%, that's nice. Oh, guys. I also feel like this would be really yummy with like different dipping sauces, like guacamole would be really yummy. When I used to do different barbecue chips that I can't have anymore, and I can't do the dip anymore. I used to do like a French onion dip. And I wonder if there is a vegan version of that because I feel like that'd be really, really yummy too. But here's the thing, these are delicious on their own. Melanie, yes, I agree with you wholeheartedly. I'm obsessed. They're so good. Mm. This is a 10 out of 10 because I'm probably going to get through this whole bag now. So here's a few principles that Foragers has. Organic is best, uh, less sugar is better, a plant-based diet of nuts, seeds, ancient grains, and vegetables is key. Ingredients rule. I'm not reading all of them. Be humble, grateful, respectful, driven, passionate, curious, and honest. Reduced waste, honor nature, human impact on the planet is not sustainable. Forager seeks to make the world a better place by making organic, plant-based, delicious food we can all believe in. I'm gonna leave a ton of links below so that you can see more about this company because I already kind of, A, I'm obsessed with their product, but B, I'm also obsessed with what they stand for. And they do a lot more than chips. They do so many different products and you can do it all on their website. Oh, guys, delicioso. Mm. Chips are greens, chipotle, barbecue, which is what we're eating. Cheesy greens, I'll have to check that. And wasabi greens, I wonder what their cheesy greens are made out of. I'd be really interested to try their cheesy ones because it's nutritional yeast, there's no dairy in it. Ah, I love it! Forager Project, you're like my new favorite brand. Oh, this is so yummy, you guys. Um, oh. Some texture things I can tell you. You can definitely tell when you're, like it doesn't bother me, but I can tell when I, the seeds, when I hit certain seeds in it. You can see the seeds in there. They're all the dark little patches. It doesn't bother me at all. 
but you can definitely tell they're there. I love the seasoning that they put on here. The spice, I feel like the more you eat it, the stronger it gets. But definitely worth trying any of their products. I mean, if any, if they're all as good as this, which I'm assuming they are, then I would say anything from Forager Project is worth trying, but these are delicious. So if you like, I would say semi-spicy is where I personally would place it, but I really like spicy things. Um, and I can generally handle a lot of spice. So for me, I would say it's mid-range. If you really like that and you like barbecue, these are so good. I hope you guys like these shorter videos. I'm gonna try and do this whole Vegan Cuts box this way just to kind of give it a trial and see what you guys think. So feel free, please let me know if you like the idea, if you absolutely hate it. Let me know if you have a different idea. Feel free to comment with that below as well. I am totally open to hearing what you guys think. Um, so that way I can give each item a good amount without making a 20 minute long video that you guys watch. I would say get them. They're delicious. Oh my gosh. I'm a, I've already eaten like three fourths of the bag in this short little video. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ah, oh, that's so, so good. Oh my goodness. If I had to choose between this and the Sriracha chips, which by the way I have bought. I have gone out and found them and bought them. And if you don't know what video that is, I'll leave it in the description below and at the end of this video. I would think, I think I would pick these over them. This just has a lot more flavor and also some kick to it. Um, if you just love sriracha, those chips, I mean, oh, they're still like freaking amazing. I'm pretty sure I gave those a 10 out of 10 too. But I think I would lean towards these a little bit more if I had to pick one. More likely, if I found them in the same store, I would just buy both of them. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Uh, let me know if you've tried these and what you think. Uh, if you're obsessed with them, if maybe it's too spicy for you, just let me know what your thoughts are. Other than that, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.